and welcome back to The Art Social. This is episode number five. So we're gonna start today uh, by letting you know who the winner is of the uh, poll that I put up uh, for you guys to vote on which painting we're gonna do today. And the winner ended up being, da 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 da, the pickup truck with the pumpkins. We had a choice between a waterfall in autumn and a pickup truck um, with pumpkins in the back and I tallied up everyone's answers from every different platform that I put out on Facebook and it looks like the pickup truck won. So we're gonna start with what we need for supplies today. So as always we need a canvas to paint on and today because we're going to be doing a pickup truck and we're gonna be doing some details I'm gonna start with a large canvas, okay? So I used this same uh, type of canvas, the same size, uh, back in episode, I think it was number three, uh, Hello Fall, um, and I did a big pumpkin. I used a big canvas like this. It's just a lot easier when it comes to details and stuff like that, um, and I don't want you guys to try and make a truck on a tiny canvas. It's really hard to do that, okay? So uh, I'll put this down, and... Next thing we're gonna concentrate on is our paint brushes. So we always use um, a large, a medium, and a small. Uh, try to get a bit bigger of a brush today, a wider, uh, because you have a big canvas today. And if you get a, a small uh, paintbrush, um, it's gonna be hard to get all that paint spread around. So get a, um, a big paintbrush uh, wide to go and do the, uh, the background strokes, okay? Um, next, your medium one, I usually flat. Uh, I like to do, do details with the flat uh, medium brush. And then a very small one that you can do little details on. We're gonna trace around the outlines and stuff. So make sure you have a very tiny paintbrush for that, okay? Um, what we're also going to need uh, today is some paint. And I wanna show you guys what we have for paint today. So um, we're gonna use a lot of different uh, colors in this painting and I want to show you guys why so we're gonna have a background that is gonna have a night sky and we're gonna have a cornfield that the truck is driving over top of so there's gonna be some different uh, colors there and I want you guys to see what we're gonna use so we're gonna start with uh, purple blue and black for the night sky and we're gonna lighten it up with a little bit of white at the bottom and then we're gonna move on to the hay and in the cornfield that we're gonna be driving over top of with our truck, it's gonna be a mix of yellow and browns. And then we're gonna have our truck. Uh, I'm choosing the color like a turquoise bluish green. Uh, I think that's a really nice color that's gonna kind of pop on the, on the canvas uh, with my pumpkins. Um, you can pick whatever color you want. Just try to stay away from anything that looks like orange. So like reds, uh, pinks, stuff like that. Try to stay away from that color because your pumpkins aren't really going to show very well. Okay. And then of course I have the famous orange for our pumpkins. Okay. So um, I really want to start this painting with you guys today. So without further ado, how about we get on to the next clip? All right. So for our step one, we're going to be doing the background. So we're going to start with um, some black and some blue. So I'm going to do what we did last time in our last video. And for those of you who haven't watched it, um, I used a technique called dotting and I'm just dotting the paint down and we're going to spread it. Okay. Instead of using a palette. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this was done. So I'm going to dot some black at the top because I feel like the tops of the sky needs to be a little darker. I'm gonna incorporate some of the black going down here and you'll see how that mixes in with everything uh, when we're done that part. Okay, and we're gonna blend it all in together. Oh, this one's not even open yet. Oops. Okay, so this is my blue and I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice amount. You don't need to squeeze the bottle really hard. Um, the paint does come out pretty good and it blends really good on your, on your palette. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my purple. And I'm gonna open the 
this one up too. All right, and I have a little trusty paper right there, paper towel. Okay, and I'm gonna put some of my purple just inside here because I want the purple blobs to come kind of down. I want it to be black and blue and turn into some purple and then we're gonna lighten it right up when we go down. There you go. Okay, so next step, you're gonna take your brush and usually I get you guys to go side to side. Well, we're gonna go on kind of like a diagonal and then we're not gonna go all the way down. I want you guys to take your brush and I want you guys to kind of dab a little bit, just like that. Just to kind of blend in those colors real quick. Okay, and once that's done, I want you to take um, your paintbrush and start on the top corner, okay, and just kind of go down like this, okay? And I don't want you to stop at the same spot everywhere. I want you to stop here, stop up there, and you're just gonna kind of give it a design as you go, okay? Make sure you don't blend too, too much because we don't want to make just a black color. We want some of our purples to show too. So don't blend too, too much. I'm gonna dab up here because I need that to cover the white. Perfect. Now I see some of my blue, I see some of my purple. I'm gonna go down over here, but I'm leaving that crack of white there. And we're gonna do something else with that after. Okay. There you go. So what's next is I'm going to take my white. Okay, I'm gonna put my brush down right here and I have a paper towel there so it's not gonna get my table dirty. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, I don't wanna dirty the tip of my, um, of, of my paint. So what I'm gonna do is if you have like a butter knife or anything like that at home, um, I suggest I have a, a painting knife. You can get those if you'd like. Um, I will be doing paintings with these in the future, but I'll give you guys ample amount of time to to remember to buy these. Um, so I'm just pushing the white out a little bit. I'm gonna grab it with my painting knife. I'm gonna grab some here and here, here, and then we're gonna bring it downwards. It gives it like a little scraping noise, but it's stopping me from putting my white tip of my bottle onto the black and mixing that color inside. I don't want to do that. And push some more out. Put all these little parts right down here. And we're going to go kind of a little bit further down with it. take my white and I'm gonna put some white down below all right if you guys have a hard time uh, dotting um, I suggest you ask a parent or a guardian grandma grandpa big sister or big brother anybody that can give you a hand um, just because it could be a little tricky sometimes you push the bottle too hard and more come out and then you have too much pain and that becomes a pain in the butt so, uh, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to start from the top. And since it's already blended up there, I'm just going to very lightly go down like this. There you go. Very, very lightly. Kind of lightening up the sky. And I'm gonna go down here, do my white, and then push upwards with it in a, on a diagonal, okay? So your colors are mixing into there, that's fine. 
we're just darkening up the sky at the top and we're kind of blending in a few white streaks at, throughout the dark. Not completely, just enough. And I'm still on an angle. If you find you're running out of paint like I am, I'm gonna add a little bit more white. So I'm gonna grab my white and I'm gonna very, very lightly add a little bit more where I feel it's needed. There you go. You can use your painting knife or your butter knife to do this as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of dab it in these places that need to be um, colored in on my canvas. Right, and oh, I'll hold my, um, my canvas down. My canvas is not taped down because I have a thicker canvas, so I'm just holding it down as I go. Perfect. And at the bottom here, some of this white is gonna get covered because we're gonna do like the hay at the bottom. So don't worry too much about the bottom. I want these little cracks through here to get done. There you go. I don't really wanna see all those brush strokes, so I'm kinda trying to blend it in a little bit very lightly. And I'm, you notice that my, my brush isn't on an angle, it's kinda like on its side just to give it like thinner little strokes. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so once you got this part down, we're gonna let this dry because we want to uh, start adding in the hay at the bottom and your canvas needs to be perfectly dry before we do that. So give it some time to dry and then we'll get on to the next step, okay? Perfect. All right, I think this is just good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to let my painting dry off. All right, my friends, now that my background has dried, I am going to uh, do the cornfield that we talked about. So I grab myself another paintbrush, just about this size, it's like a medium. It doesn't have to be an angle tip, um, it could be a flat. But this is the paintbrush that I chose. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dot some yellow and some brown, and I'm gonna do like a, a U shape, like a half a circle, going like this. So it looks like I'm squishing all of it with the truck, okay? So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna go down like this and back up like that. So I'm gonna add the dots down below and up here. I'll show you just how, and then we'll move on with that. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. I gotta open up all my paints. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this yellow and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lift my sleeves because I'm going to get some on my sleeves. I don't want that. So I've got my yellow and I'm going to very lightly kind of give it some depth here. So do that half circle shape that I told you about. So I'm higher up here and I'm going down like this and up here, okay? So I'm going to grab my brown open this one too. These paints are new for me, so I didn't get to open them up quite yet. All right. So I'm going to add some brown here, here. And in between all of that, I'm going to add some white as well because I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be uh, lighter because uh, a cornfield is like a brownish yellow. And I don't think we want it to be super, super dark. So I'm gonna add some white in here. I'm running out of white. All right. Just kind of in the middle here. I really enjoy painting, dot painting, because I don't need to use a palette. 
All right, so I'm gonna get my trusty paintbrush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold my, my, uh, my canvas because I don't want it to go flying. And actually I'm gonna hold it up here so that I can brush down here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to lighten up the white parts here. And then the, the yellow, I'll go down with the yellow. Okay, I touched the brown a little bit, that's okay. Uh, just like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of, just like that. All right, now go ahead and do this. And from up here, down like that, okay? And I want you to blend in what you can here. And once that's done and all full, you can add some white, you can add some brown, you can make it darker if you want to. I think maybe I will actually add some white. Um, let's see here. Because my truck is gonna be right here and it's gonna have some tracks in here. And I want to eliminate some of this brown. So I'm gonna blend it in some more. And I'm going to take that trusty paint knife that I have, uh, where did I put it? Right here. And we're gonna grab some white and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did earlier. I'm gonna add some white to my yellow to lighten it up a bit. So just like this. And like that. Pop that out. Now you can put your paint knife down and you can take your paintbrush again and you can go ahead and lighten up. There you go. That's what I wanted. I, I wanted some, some white parts to come through and lighten up that yellow and brown. It doesn't have to be super white. You can blend it in as much as you want, go into the corners as much as you want. But this is the motion that I want to do right here. When you go to a cornfield, if you've ever been to a cornfield, um, you got some squished up parts where the tractor's been over it and the, the friends and the parents and everybody has been walking over top of it. And that's kind of like what we have here. And the truck is gonna be what's kind of squishing down all this cornfield and hay. There you go. And because my background here is dry, I can put my hand down on it and it won't smudge. Perfect. All right. So once again, you got to give it some time to dry. And once this part is dry, we're going to move on to uh, the truck. So I like it just the way it is, just like that. Um, I'm going to add kind of like a little bit of yellow popping up here, just very lightly. And maybe a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna take some of this, Ooh, that's a little too much. Take a little bit of yellow, just gonna kinda of give it some depth, some texture. Because, there you go, just add a little bit more. I wanna make it look like that, that hay is popping off the ground. Perfect, I really like that. That was the perfect add-on. And now I'm just gonna blend this in like that. All right, so once this is dry, I want you guys to uh, come back and we're gonna do the truck, all right? So let's come back to the next clip. All right, my friends. So this is where we're going to use our trusty palette. So I got my little piece of cardboard here and I squirted three little colors on here and this is what's gonna help me do the truck. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to outline the truck and then we're gonna color it in. And once that's dry, we'll move on with the pumpkins and then the stars and we're gonna be done. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab either a very uh, thin tipped um, paintbrush like this one or a very flat paintbrush like this. 
So I'm gonna be using this one here because I prefer to do outlines with a very flat uh, brush. So it's very, 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 very skinny so it can make very tiny lines. So that's what I'm gonna use today to do the outline. So I'm going to dip into the turquoise greenish color for my truck and I'm gonna go and start my outline. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna go up. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, my paintbrush is good, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna dip again because I just lost my paintbrush to the floor. I think the floor won. <laughs> All right, maybe just a bit more. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna go up. So I'm gonna start with these tires. Uh, the tires will be painted in black, so don't worry. This is just for my outline. So my tires are gonna be just about here. That's one tire on the ground. This is two tires on the ground, okay? Then we're gonna do the bottom part of uh, the pickup truck. That's like the bucket part in the back. And that, in my friends, is going to be uh, holding our pumpkins. So I'm gonna make a straight line. It probably won't be super straight, that's okay. I'm not using a ruler because I'm painting. It's perfectly fine. Go like this. This is the bumper. Alright guys? So you guys know what a bumper is on a truck. Alright, I'm gonna actually have it coming further out here and further out here because the bumper is never aligned with the tires. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna dab in here again and I'm gonna make the uh, box of the truck. So I'm gonna go here and this is what our pumpkins are gonna be in. Like this. And I'm going to close it off here. So our pumpkins are going to be piled in the back here. Okay. So another thing is we have the wheel wells. So uh, it's kind of like the truck is rounded off here and it goes down like this. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you need a parent to help you with this part, don't be ashamed to ask. It is quite a... A difficult outline to do but I trust you guys are going to be able to do just fine remember your painting is your painting nobody else's is going to be the same it's not even going to be the same as mine that's perfectly fine and I'm going to dip again and this time I'm going to start at this line here right here and right here and I'm going to go out and do right like that And like this, perfect. And that's gonna be uh, the back part where the window is gonna be for my truck. Just like that. That's my window, okay? And also, I like to have um, some mirrors on my truck to look at, to see in the back. Just like the mirrors on your mom or dad's truck or car. Every vehicle has it. So just like that. Okay, so this is the outline for your truck. Now what you're gonna do next is you're going to color in these, uh, these pieces and we're gonna add a little touch of white in some parts so that it could mix nice and properly. So you can take uh, either a little bit of a bigger brush or you can stick with the same one and now you can fill inside of it. So I'm gonna fill in my truck and when I'm done with it, I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the white parts. All right, so fill this in. And when I'm done, you'll see in the next clip what it looks like when it's full. All right, so now that I've filled in the truck, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the white parts um, and I'll explain to you what the white parts are. So on a truck, when you're looking at the color, when the truck moves, it kind of has like a shiny look to it. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a shiny look. I wanna add a window in here, so I'm gonna white it out. 
and that white is going to act like a clear glass um, looking uh, looking at the truck with that and then I'm going to add a little bit of white on the corners making it look kind of shiny and we're going to draw the back um, tailgate on the truck and the bumper is going to have some white okay so I grabbed another paintbrush but you can just wash the one you had and I'm going to add some white to my paintbrush and my paint is still a little bit wet but that's okay if it blends in that's even better uh, but I'm gonna add some white here to make it look like a shiny part on the truck just like that it doesn't have to be a perfect circle or line or square just kind of give it a little bit of a white look on the corner I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some a little bit at the top just a little bit it's blending in with my green, that's okay. Yeah, like that. Kind of gives it like a glossy look. I'm gonna do a little bit around the corner here like that. I don't wanna do too much on that corner. So now I'm going to do the white inside the window. Like that. Make sure you fill in that whole entire window, okay? So don't be shy to put some white in there. I'm gonna cover all that. So this window, the white is acting like a clear, shiny glass. There you go. And go like this. Sometimes it's the trick is to move around your hand um, so that you don't touch the wet part with your hand. So all this part is dry, so I can put my arm up here and I can paint in over here and I'm not getting my hand full of paint and I'm not smearing my paint. And if I go here like this, just make sure you don't put your, your, um, your arm and your wrist down on this part. Okay, so make sure you fill in that beautiful window. And when you're done with the window, I will show you where else to put some shiny parts on the truck. Okay, so once you got that window all filled in, you can go ahead and you can do some more shiny parts. Another part I wanna put some white is uh, these mirrors. I'm gonna kinda give it a little bit of a, a, a glowy, shiny white mirror. So I'm gonna do this, just like that. And on the other side, I'm gonna dip in some more. You see sometimes um, when I don't want to put my hand on the paint, I put my pinky down on a dry spot and that helps balance my hand. So I'm doing this part here without touching the green, but my hand is balanced because I've got my pinky down up here. Okay. That's just one of those tricks that uh, artists have up their sleeves. <laughs> All right, I have a few spots here I want to fill in. Go. Perfect. Okay. So from here, I want you to pick up that white and we're going to add some on the wheel wells. A little bit of shiny, a little bit of shiny part right here. Okay. That's all it should have and it should need. And I'm going to make a rectangle here. If you want to wait till this whole part is dry before doing this rectangle, that's fine but I'm putting my pinky down here to balance my hand and I'm going to do a rectangle. So I'm gonna dip back in my white because I don't have enough. I'm gonna do this here. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that excess off because it's leaking everywhere. And I'm gonna just round it out here, down here, dip some more in my white, balance my pinky, I'm gonna go down like this, and then I'm going to finish up my rectangle at the bottom. And do this, put my pinky down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a painting. You don't have rulers. Make sure you just place your arm the right way or put your pinky down to help you. There you go. Just gonna straighten this up, just like that. Perfect. All right, um, and then the bumper is gonna have some white on it. So I'm gonna just 
See, I put my hand down in it. Make sure you put your pinky down or you lift up. So I want to put a shiny part on my bumper here like this. Going like that. And then I'm going to have some going the opposite way. So like this and like that. As you can see, I also made the wheels black. Feel free to do this part too. And then um, we're going to move forward to uh, adding some black outline to the truck as well. So I'm going to just kind of give it a little bit of a, a shadow um, for the pickup on the pickup truck. So here I'm going to add a little bit of black going this way. Okay, and I'm going to dip a little bit more in. I'm going to give a little bit of black beside the white here, just kind of give it some depth and some character. Um, I'm going to add some more around this wheel well here, like that, and right here. Okay, I also want to add, and I'm going to take the excess off, and I'm just going to very lightly do this. I'm brushing a little bit lightly over the there, it gave it kind of like a shadow. I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna take the excess off and just very lightly give it like a shadowy, shadowy color. There you go. Perfect. Um, now, if you wanna add some more of this shadowy uh, motion to uh, the edge of the white that you put up, you can do that. I'm gonna add some here. There we go. I'm gonna shadow this part and this part. And feel free to do this part if you want. If you don't want to, that's okay. It is a little hard to uh, to do some shadowing. Um, so if you don't get it right the first time, that's fine. Just remember, keep practicing, because practice makes perfect. I practice every time I do a painting, I'm practicing. That's me practicing. Because I'm not a professional. I'm not a pro at this. I learn every day. And I'm just going to round out this edge here, put a little bit of shadowing up there. Kind of like, like that. There you go. Shadowing is tricky. But if you get the hang of it, you're golden. All right. So this definitely has to dry before we do the pumpkins. But while this is drying, I'm going to add a few stars at the top. Um, so I'm going to take, I'm going to keep using this pointy um, paintbrush because I'm just going to dip it into my white. So you can grab a pointy paintbrush, you can wash this paintbrush, you can do like I did, it's up to you. But I'm going to add a little bit of white to the end and I'm going to very lightly just dot a couple stars in the sky. Very lightly added some stars. Some can be a little bit bigger, some can be a little bit smaller. Stars aren't perfectly aligned. We even have some constellations in the sky. I'm going to do one right here. There you go. <laughs> I think it's the, the little dipper I just did. If you want to look up some constellations and do them in the sky, that'd be cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to keep putting stars on the beautiful night sky and I'm going to let this truck uh, dry and we're going to get back to the next part which is going to be our pumpkins and guess what? That's going to be the end of that. You're going to be done your painting. I'm so proud of you. Aren't you proud of yourself? We're almost there. Okay, so continue on with those stars and then let that dry and we're going to get back to those pumpkins. Now that that's done, we're going to uh, use a small paintbrush to do some pumpkins in the back. And we're also going to make a pumpkin down here. So uh, have some orange and some yellow. Um, as, lo uh, as long as you still have some black, uh, have some black available. Um, and then the a little bit of yellow and some orange. So I'm going to start with the orange. And I'm going to dip right in there. And I'm going to start by making kind of pumpkin shapes like this, okay? And I'm gonna fill that in. 
just like that. And as you can see, it doesn't look the greatest with the, the green in the back, so I put it a little thicker. We don't want that, that green to show in the back so much. There you go. Okay, and I'm gonna make another pumpkin. We're gonna finish off the look of the pumpkins um, when this dries when the orange dries. Once the orange is dry, we'll be able to do the stems of the pumpkins. So I'm gonna add another tiny one just right here. There you go. Okay, so it just looks like a bunch of orange blobs, but you'll see what I mean when I say we're gonna finish those up after. So technically I have three pumpkins in here. Okay, and I'm going to do a fourth pumpkin on the ground. So I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, and this one's gonna be a little, oh, my paint kind of slipped. That's okay, I'll fix that up after. I'll add some yellow to that. There you go. And I'll show you how I fix that. I'm gonna add the orange to my pumpkin. And you're gonna notice that when there's a dark color in the back and you're putting a light color over top of it, it looks dark and that's okay. Um, you just need to keep putting different coats on it. So if you want it to work a little bit better, you can let it dry and add another coat to it. Otherwise it'll kind of smear, um, but I'm just giving it kind of like a padding motion. So it's putting the paint exactly where I want it to go. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of take this off and I'm gonna dip in my yellow a little bit and I'm gonna fix this up. There you go, blend that yellow it back in and then it looks, it looks like my pumpkin was the only thing there. Perfect, okay. So um, I'm gonna go back over top of this pumpkin here. Just gonna give it like a little bit more orange and I am gonna take my yellow now and very very little amount of yellow and your pumpkins should still be a little bit wet because you kind of want it to blend in and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a yellow mark here a yellow mark here and here and it might not look like much of a pumpkin now but once I get the stem on there and those black lines to uh, show you the grooves in the pumpkin it'll look great so I've got some yellow mixed into there because I want to give it kind of like a mixed color. I don't just want it to be orange. So I want it to have a few streaks of yellow because sometimes a pumpkin has some yellow in it, um, very light hues of yellow. And remember, yellow and red make orange. So I'm just kind of blending these colors to help out the, uh, the look of the pumpkin. All right. So once that's done, um, I'm gonna, oh, I forgot one pumpkin right down here. So a little bit of yellow there, 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 and I'm gonna rub that in just so it, just to say shows that it's got a different color to it. So a little bit more in the middle, and I'm kind of doing like a three motion, like I got one here, one here, one here. So two on the edge, one in the middle, and it just kind of blends that color in and looks really pretty, okay? All right, so once these pumpkins are done and dry, we're gonna go and finish off with the black. We're gonna do the tire marks, and uh, like it looks like it's kind of like indented into the, uh, the hay, and then we're gonna do the stems on these and the lines inside of it, and we're done. So let's get to the next clip when these pumpkins are dry. All right, so as you can see from here, I did uh, the black stems on my pumpkins in the pickup truck. And now I'm going to do um, the, I'll show you how I did that on this pumpkin here because it's bigger and you'll be able to get to see what I did. So the first thing I did is I made a stem, so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, kind of curve it a little bit, 
There you go. And I'm gonna dip just a little bit in the black, not too, 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 too much. And I'm going to start at the stem and go outwards like that. And I'm gonna do another one going this way. And then we're going to do two more little ones. I'm gonna remove some of that thickness in my paint. And I'm gonna do two more little ones going like this and like this. And this one's gonna be a little bit longer. I'll do this one a little bit longer, just like that. And then you can kind of shape the, um, the pumpkin that way. And I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of the shadow part right here, just cause it's sitting on the ground. Like I said, you don't need to do these shadowy parts. That's up to you. But I think it gives it some depth and it looks really cool. So uh, just like you did the shadowing up in here, um, that's kind of what I'm gonna do for these tracks. I'm gonna get some black on my paintbrush and kind of wipe it off a little bit. And I'm going to slightly do this. As you can see, it kind of looks like that's where the tracks of the truck was and I'm going to do this again on this side and again going downwards like this and I'm going to add some more like that and I'm going to darken these a little bit because they're not very they're not dark enough for me like that like this there you go it looks like it drove right over okay just like that and I've got my stars I've got my truck I've got my pumpkins I've got my hay my cornfield I've got my tracks and I think I'm good to go so that's it guys we've done this painting um, like I said a bigger canvas helps a lot because you got a lot of details to do and it really looks nice with the big open sky at the top. So this is the part where your painting's done with me, but it doesn't mean it's done with you. So you can add stuff if you want to. You can add a shooting star. You can add a really big bright star. You can add some corn. You can add uh, some more pumpkins. If you're brave enough, you can detail some um, carved pumpkins uh, for Halloween. Uh, that's up to you. Um, but other than that, I think we're done. So I really enjoyed doing this. I'll see you guys in the next clip, all right? Hi guys, you did it. Look at that thing, isn't it beautiful? That's going in my window. I'm showing everybody that. It's gonna go right in my porch window and everybody on the street passing by is gonna see these beautiful paintings I've been doing with you guys. Um, so what I wanna say next is uh, check out my Facebook page so that you can put in a vote for next week's um, Paint Social and we'll be able to decide uh, if we're going to be doing some spooky Halloween ones or some cute Halloween ones or who knows what we're going to do. Um, but I want your input. I want you guys to let me know what you guys want to paint. Uh, so in the comments below, I want you to uh, write down what you want to see uh, in the next few paint socials for Halloween. So let me know what you want to do. I'll do my best to try and do um, all of them that you guys post, uh, depending on how many Halloween paintings that we can get done, um, and we'll go from there. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, check out that Facebook page and put in your vote, and don't forget guys, stay creative. Bye.